jumping right into it with this yellow. Um, yeah, it's bright. Right on top of that, I'm placing this blue. I'm going to be placing the colors right on top of each other. Then there's beautiful green or teal, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the bubble technique, placing them right on top of each other. Then this pink color, I really like how this pink came out. It looks brighter than what it came out. And then this purple color, I wasn't sure, but it turned out good. Then we're starting the process all over, but without the yellow. So we're going to jump into that blue and then start over again with that teal. Also, you don't have to like rub these colors in. Actually, I'm saturating it more than what they say to only because I normally don't get the color payoff that I want. So after the pink, we're going to do that purple. We're just going to keep going until we finish this side. Don't worry about if the other sides don't meet up. When you finish each side, it's fine. My happen so did that, but it's okay. Like I said, we continue this process without the yellow. So after that purple, jumping back into that blue. Like I said before, I did saturate my hair more than what they say to only because I don't get the color payoff that I be wanting when I don't. And you see the ending color on this side is the teal. On the other side, we're doing the same thing, starting off with the yellow. And then we're just going to do the same color route, if that's what you want to call it. Like I said, putting the blue right on top of it to make sure it kind of matches up. It's not going to be the exact same as the other side, but it's fine. After the blue, we're going into the teal or green. I consider it green. Tomato, tomato. Also, I'm trying to make sure I'm getting the parting, if not exactly right, close to it. So after, what are we on? The teal or green. Going into the green. You don't have to use these papers. I do to kind of hold my hair and the less I have to use my hands. So after the green, the pink. And then, of course, after the pink, it's going to be the purple. And like I said before, you're just going to continue this whole process until you're done. And you really don't have to end on the same color. I think I just have to sew both sides in on the green. Which was the first time. I know this might look a mess. But I'm telling you. It works. After that purple. Going back into the blue. These colors may look a little dark. They tell you to use like pastel colors or something close to it. These colors look dark, but once it rent, once it's rinsed out and dry, you'll see that it's not as dark as it looks right now because I did dilute the colors. So after that blue, we're going to hop into the green. My favorite color, by the way. I love it. And like I said before, if you just hopped into this video and was paying attention you're putting the color the colors right on top of each other don't forget to like subscribe and press the notification the button back is done i am hopping into the front now my roots is going to be yellow that's why i didn't do the yellow more throughout the bubble technique so i know this is weird and different, I like to be different. I don't want to keep trying to do the same hair colors that everybody does. So, 
I wasn't really sure about this yellow girl, but yeah. I am saturating these roots because because it's yellow, I don't want it to fade quick. So I am trying to saturate the front and the roots as much as I can with the yellow. So we getting all that. Trying to make sure I show y'all. That's why I keep turning my wig head. Because I'm going through out the front of this wig with the yellow. But I want to make sure that I don't do too much yellow. Because I don't want it to overpower the other colors. So these colors actually did mixing well together which I wasn't even thinking about it how well it mixed in with this yellow I was shocked so just like we did the back we are going to start off with a single yellow piece so but we're only doing it like we only did two pieces in the back we're only doing two pieces in the front on both sides And I'm also, after the yellow, I'm also going to go place the yellow on the roots on both sides of the hair. So, on this side, and then I'm going to part it, and then I'm going to put it on the other side. And then I'm going to go into my bubble colors. In the front, I also parted it thinner than the back because I wanted to make sure... That it was saturated. And then the front of the hair is thicker than the back. I don't know why. So. Like I said. We are about to go in. To this green. I mean the blue. I'm sorry. Of course it makes, makes green. Blue and yellow. I'm still going into this green right after this. I thought it was going to look too green. But it actually didn't. So. I was like, okay, and green is my favorite color anyway, so it is what it is. So after the blue, I'm parting it. I'm going to do my yellow roots. And then I'm going to go into my green or my teal because people say, that's not green, that's teal, whatever. Y'all know what I mean. So in the green family, helpful. I advise to just clip your hair because my arm is getting tired and I was like why am I holding this hair like I don't have clips so I normally keep clips clipped to my shirt so they're in arms reach and I don't have to look for them so after the green we're gonna do our pink and we're just gonna keep it moving Try to remember your colors at the end because the blue and the yellow mixed together make green. I was like, I don't know what color I'm supposed to be on, but whatever. I was just trying to get it finished. So I was like, yeah, I'm still going to pull it off. Not to sound cocky. So saturating the hair with the pink. And then, of course, we're going to go into purple. I am kind of mixing some of the colors with the yellow because I didn't want it to just go yellow boom then a next color I want them to kind of blend in with each other so that's why you're going to see me occasionally go over the yellow with one of the bubble colors and here's the purple 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 I thought this purple was going to come out too dark. Once again, these colors look darker right now. But once everything sinks in, rinse it, condition, dry, they actually came out lighter. Like what I wanted it to come out. So once again, you're just going to th do this process all the way through. And you're just going to keep it going. Putting these yellow roots. Once again, please don't hold the hair. Because my arm is getting tired. 
after the purple, of course, we're jumping back into the blue. We're not doing another yellow single piece. You can if you want, but I'm not doing it. And I'm just going over some of the yellow with the blue. Of course, it's making that pretty, pretty green. Oh, my God. So, like I said, you're just going to continue this process. I am also doing thinner sections because it's the front and the front of the hair was thicker. So, I'm also trying to keep my yellow at the same dis like the same distance going down. So, and it helps because the bubble technique, you're laying the hair right on top of each other. So, that helps a lot. So, going in with my green. I did the entire head, and this is how it looks. So, guys, this is the final look. Um, Tell me what you guys think. I'm not going to lie. At first, I did not like the yellow. Not in the front, not the roots. And people was like, oh, I like it. And I was like, oh, I don't. But... It took a minute for her to grow on, honey. You know, Kiki did it. Kiki likes it. So tell me if you like it. Thumbs up. If you're not a part of the Kiki fam, please subscribe and press the notification button so you can be notified of my new videos. Hi!